I'm so happy you're on the show. It's your first time. My first time. We've uh, been trying to figure this out for I know, a while I'm so now. I'm happy because we're, we're fans of you here. Yeah, thank you're you, amazing. Yeah, I appreciate uh, you. I want to talk to you about a bunch of stuff, the Academy, the Passing Academy, but uh, you just got back from Brazil. We did. And you, we did. And what did you do there? You just, you just partied up? It, it, was, it was a blast. We went down there. Um, it's been a lot of fun. We, we Obviously, with sports and music in Brazil, it, it, it's real down there. So be able to go down there and uh, have a lot of fun down there. Are you there. trying to bring football to Brazil? Yeah, we, we, football, American football is growing like crazy. I was actually, Sierra and I were both shocked how many fans we had down there. You know, obviously they, they've known Sierra for years, but, you know, football's growing like crazy, rap, you know, rapid fire down there. So it's pretty fascinating. And then, obviously, we went to Carnival and had a good time. And it's like, it's like Coachella times 10, uh, you know. Is so. it really? <laughs> yeah, there's a good picture. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, come on. This looks like a rager. I mean, it is. Uh, all night. They go, from, they go from 8 o'clock at night to 8 o'clock in the morning for a whole straight week. Whole street week, so it's, it's not. And they have they have block parties and everything else. I survive. Yes, it's, it's I, I, wild. Wouldn't, I wouldn't survive. There's no way I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Uh, you uh, you you're a great quarterback, obviously. And uh, uh, but tomorrow, is this true? That you're going to spring training with the Yankees? Yeah, technically I'm with the Yankees. So I, 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 I last year I was able to go. <laughs> Pretty cool. What, uh, this is crazy though. Why, why, why I didn't know that you, you you played baseball? Did I know that? Yeah, uh, I've always loved baseball my whole life. My my, my great uncle is you know lives on the Upper East Side. He he uh, you know he loved the Yankees for years. I used to go with him when I was a young kid. And you're always ya- been a Yankees and the Yankees. And uh, I, I went last year, and then I'm coming back here for uh, this weekend and, and there you know for two three days. What does it feel like? I mean, have you have you been in the locker room and well, all of that? Well, you know the coolest, I get the coolest thing is. You know, when you wear the Yankees uniform, and my favorite baseball player of all time, favorite athlete of all time, honestly, is Derek Jeter. So, we, we, oh, my favorite. Yeah. I love that guy. Jeets. Jeets is the best. <laughs> the I best. love Jeets. I love him. And so, we, but when you, go into the, when you go into the locker room and just the experience and you go into the training and right where you go, one of the things they say is when you put the pinstripes on, you become immortal. And uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. What right if you're uh, the, the guy who just got drafted in the minor leagues all the way up to Aaron Judge and Stanton or Derek Jeter, uh, they, they all kind of share, share the same mentality, which is pretty amazing. You feel? Was there any way we'd see you in the in the in the big leagues? Uh, you know, I, I don't know about that. The only the only way probably is if I was playing in New York and, and the Yankees, but that's uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I heard a rumor, and you could just tell me because I won't I won't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> don't, we won't we'll yeah. talk about. It. No, yeah, no one. Everyone just earmuffs. Yeah, sure. uh, yeah. There's a rumor that maybe you could. Be maybe signing with the New York Giants. I'm just saying. I just heard a rumor about. I, I'm this. not sure if the. Seah- <laughs> we, we are in New York. But I, I'm not sure if the Seahawks are gonna let me get away. Yeah, no. I, I love Seattle, and Seattle's a special place. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, been able to win a Super Bowl there. Go to go to two Super Bowls, multiple playoff games, and everything else. And I know, uh, you but know. you know, you're still young. You got, you know, you should go. Are you bribing me to New York? No, no. I'm just saying, dude. Travel. Travel's good for. <laughs> Travel's good for the brain, dude. We would, I think it'd be fun to have you here. You know, if you sign... I, I did win a Super Bowl here. Yeah. So New, well. York, New, York, New York, New Jersey, it's been good. Yeah, all right. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, I heard that if you, your next negotiation, you, your next contract, mm-hmm. you, there's a possibility that you will be the highest paid quarterback in, in the history of the league. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's, a, there's a great potential of that. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Well, how does that... Does that make you feel good? Does that mean is that cool? Well, you know, uh, it's not. It's like I make me feel bad. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, to think about, you know, uh, Russell Wilson growing up and. I don't yeah. Know. Well, I think you know, being a kid, African American kid, five foot eleven, coming from Richmond, Virginia, I uh, went to a private school. Everybody said I wouldn't make it playing Division One A, and then being able to do that, going to NC State, going to Wisconsin, <laughs> getting to uh, a lot of NC State Wisconsin fans. I like it, uh, and then getting to where I am now, and uh, just finishing year seven and. Uh, you know, going into year eight, and I, I believe I have 10, 10 to 15 more years left, you know, it's, it's a blessing, you know, to work hard. I mean, there's, there's 7.5 billion people in the world. There's like 3.5 billion men in the world. And to be one of 32, you know, it's, 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 it's a special thing. And so I'm, I'm grateful that all the hard work pays off. Yeah. Uh, and were there people that said no to you? There must have been. Well, uh, many times. And, and I think that for me, uh, you know, anybody has done anything relatively great or try to do anything great, uh, they've been told no. And so I'm, yeah. I'm sure that you've experienced that and everything else. But for I, but me, what it, So what I meant to say was, it, will this make you go, ha ha? <laughs> <laughs> but I really kind of meant to say, yeah, look who, look who you're talking about now. Yeah. Too short? Yeah, yeah I can't do short. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the highest paid in, in the league. Yeah. It, it would be fun. Yeah, of course it would. Yeah. Uh, you also do this cool thing, Russell Wilson Passing Academy. Yeah. Talk, talk to me about that. That started when? 
Well, crazy. I, I actually, my best friend Scott Pickett, to this day, I say it was chemistry class. He said he was too smart. He wasn't, we weren't in the same class. He said it was a study hall, uh, <laughs> library somewhere. Yeah. But uh, 11th grade, I, I leaned over to him. I said, hey, Scott, I, I want to create these passing academies where we go around the country, go around, go around the world. And when I'm in the NFL, I'm starting the NFL, I, I want to do these. Let's, but let's start it now. Let's, let's start practicing now. So literally, that summer, we started, we started doing football camps. Russell was in passing academies. And we re- literally did them, had 150 kids at our first camp. And now we've got, coached over 10,000 kids around the country, around the world. It's been amazing. Uh, <laughs> and, and so it's, it's really special. And, and where, where, do you, where do the kids uh, come from? Well, they come from all over. And the, cool, the coolest thing that we do with Russell with RWPA is what we do is we, we also have scholarship kids. So the kids who maybe not be able to afford it or whatever it may be, uh, we give them scholarships and they're sponsored. And it's, it's, it's a pretty special thing. And then in addition, we have RWQB, which is kind of an all year round thing rather than just one day or whatever. It's all year round where uh, a guy who played with me before, Jake Heaps, who's actually helping run the camp and directing the camp, uh, all year round, is he played in the NFL, played quarterback, was in the room with me, was in the fire. He really knows what he's doing. And, you know, these, these guys, quarterback gurus, well, he's really a guru. He really played the game. And so it's pretty special. And we're coaching some of the kids who are going to University of Washington, some of the best schools in the country, uh, coaching uh, Eric Dungey, the guy out of Syracuse, actually, yeah. coming out. Um, so it's a special thing. And Good so, for you, man. I love that you do that. Yeah, give sure. back. It's great. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.